Hi students, welcome to the Google Cloud Arcade Facilitator 101 video. In this video, I will be explaining everything related to this event and solving all the queries that you might have. Timestamps to all the sections of the video will be in the video description. You can jump to any particular section that's most relevant to you and all the links will be in the video description as well. So let's get started. What is the Google Cloud Arcade Facilitator program? The Arcade Facilitator program is an always on no cost gaming campaign where you can learn cloud skills and earn digital badges and points to use towards claiming swags and prizes and Google Cloud goodies. That's it. In order to participate in the event, you will have to fill up the enrollment form. Google Cloud Skill Boost account and a referral code from a facilitator is required. In this event, you can showcase what you have learned here to your professional networks using Google Cloud hosted digital badges that you can add to your resume and professional profiles like LinkedIn. And on top of these amazing badges, get a chance to earn Arcade plus bonus points and redeem them for some real cool, really cool Google Cloud goodies. What are the tasks that you will have to do? So all the tasks that you will have to do will be in the Quick Labs Arcade website. You will have to come to this website to see your task and complete them. So now let me show you how you can create a new Google Cloud Platform account. First of all, come to this Cloud Google Cloud Skill Boost website. Link will be in the description. After you come to this website, click on the join button. Then you will be redirected to a page like this to create your account. Enter the details over here. Click on this recapture. Fill it up and then click on I accept. Then your account will be created and you will be automatically signed in. So after that, you will have to make your profile public. So for that, click on the settings. First of all, click on this uh, profile icon. Then from the dialog box, click on the settings icon, settings option. Then click on the hamburger menu. Click on profile from over here. Click on this big blue button where it's written make, make badge profile public. And after that, your profile will be, uh, will be public and this is the public URL that is needed to fill the form and if you share this public profile with anyone he will be able to see your badges as well so I hope that's clear this PDF will be in the description below if so if you are unable to understand you can follow it up from over there so after you have successfully created a Google Cloud Skill Boost account you can start filling the enrollment form open the form link given in the description it looks something like this Scroll down a bit and here you will find some of the details given here over here regarding the, regarding the event. First of all, enter the same email ID, ID that you have used to create your Google Cloud Skill Boost account. Then scroll down a bit and you can see some of the images of the prizes that you can claim after the event is finished. But then just click on next. Here are some of the terms and conditions are given. So I would suggest if you have time, you can read this. It's necessary. So after doing that, just click on yes, I accept the terms, then click on next. After that, enter the same email ID that you have entered previously, the same email ID that you have used to create the Google Cloud Skill Boost account. Enter your full name, enter your gender, enter your country. You can select it from over here. Scroll down a bit. Now over here, enter the best suited identification for you. Now comes the most important part. You will be needing a referral code from any of the facilitators. I have given my referral code in the video description. Make sure you enter it properly over here. You can copy paste it from there. Make sure you don't have any white spaces from behind the uh, after the code or before the code. Make sure it's exactly the same. Otherwise, you will, your form will not be accepted and you will not be able to submit the form. So the referral code is given in the video description. Make sure you properly copy that code over here. If it's not properly copied or somehow you are unable to properly copy it, make sure you watch it properly and type it one letter at a time. After that's done, recheck that you have entered the correct referral code. After that, enter your graduation year. If you are a working prof professional, you can enter any of the options from over here as well. After that, you will have uh, this option. Do you have an account on the Google Cloud Skill Boost? I have already uh, mentioned how you can create a Google Cloud Skill Boost account. So after you have created your account by watching that tutorial, 
you can click on yes i already have an account then click on next scroll down a bit and here your google cloud skill boost profile url will be required some of the steps are given over here don't have to worry i will explain them so as you can see it's written please share your google cloud skill boost public profile url so how you can get the google cloud skill power boost public profile url first of all go to the cloud skill boost website link will be given in the description click on the sign in from over here if you are signed in don't worry you can skip this step sign in with the google account that you will be using for the event then from over here click on this button if you have already made your uh, profile public according to our instructions you will see this option over here public profile click on this one then just copy this link from over here and paste it as it is it is written over here do not copy paste this as your application will be rejected they are telling not to copy this example profile uh, profile public profile url this is just an example to show you that your public profile url might look something like this you will have you can you can absolutely copy your own public profile url they are not telling to copy this one or the one present over here if you enter this one uh, if you copy paste this one your profile link will uh, your profile will get rejected make sure you copy your own profile url from your own account after that click on next and you are done with the for form filler just press on submit and your form will be submitted i am not doing it you can do it yourself after you have filled all the details and submitted the form you will be getting a mail like this this is not the confirmation mail for the confirmation mail you will have to wait for at least 24 hours and within that time or most likely before that you will get a confirmation mail like this and herein you will also get the instructions to avail your monthly subscription you will also be getting an access code through which you can avail it if the instructions were tough to follow or understand you can refer to this tutorial video explaining how to avail the monthly subscription by the time you are getting this mail you can start doing the free labs that are under the level games or if any present under the trivia quest free labs don't require credits so you can do that without the multi monthly subscription so all the tasks that you will have to do will be in the quick labs arcade website you will have to come to the website to see your task and complete them there will be three types of task number one level games there will be two level games each month make sure you complete them as quickly as possible as seats will be limited and once filled up you will not be able to enter so make sure you are there before the time's up level games have one arcade point so complete both of the level one and level two games you will get two arcade points to join the level games first copy the access code from over here click on the play and you will be redirected to the quick labs website make sure you are signed in with the email id that you have used for enrollment click on the join this game paste the access code and then hit join if you are somehow unable to join that means see seats are filled up try after a few hours i hope you will be able to join then after you have done that then you can start doing the labs in each sections given below once all the labs are successfully completed then congratulations you have earned yourself one game badge in same way i hope you will be able to complete the level 2 game as well please make sure to complete or at least join the level games when they are live since they have limited number of seats and once it's filled up you may not be able to join the games and miss out on securing yourself a badge and a point for it moving on to the second task that is trivia quest this is a one month long quest where anyone can join to start the quest click on the enroll button and then start doing the labs given below you will have to complete all the checkpoints in the trivia quest in order to secure the badge for the trivia quest which also holds one arcade point so make sure you do that now one more important thing quests have four weekly quizzes which will be live in each week like since we are in the first week of this july month so trivia week one quiz is active right now and once we have moved to the second week the week one quiz will be closed and week two quiz will be activated make sure you do all the quizzes when they come live each week because if any one of this checkpoint in this quest remains unchecked you will not be able to complete the quest and you will lose the chance to earn the trivia quest badge during the two months period of the program two quests will be live 
one for the July and one for the August month. So doing both of the quest, you will be getting two arcade points. The third type of task are nothing but skill badges. You will have to complete the skill based labs to get the skill badges. Whenever you encounter a new lab, regardless you are in the level games or the trivia quest, you will see that upon completion of this lab, you will also get a skill badge. So just complete the labs properly and you will get the skill badge for your profile. If you complete three skill badges, you will get one arcade point. So that was all about the task that you'll have to complete under this event. So these are basically, these were the basically the games under the arcade. So why participate under the Google Cloud Arcade Facilitator program? Because of these three reasons. You'll be completing your labs faster and easily so that you can earn arcade points. Plus, on completing some milestones, you will also be getting bonus arcade points, which you can also redeem them for prizes. We will provide you with two month subscriptions to complete the skill badges and earn points. We will be you will be getting an access of the of a community where you can find like-minded Google users like you who are and you can grow your network. And the latest updates and notifications of the arcade program will be you can will be given to you before anyone else. So now let's uh, let me explain the point system. So for one level, you will get so for one level game you will get one point, and upon completing the two level games, you will get two arcade points. For the trivia quest, you will get one point for one quest, and if you complete both the quests, that is the quest that will be coming on the July month and as well as in the August month, for completing the two quests, you will getting you will be getting two arcade points. And upon securing three skill badges by completing skill based labs, you will get one point. And since this is the arcade cloud facilitator program, you will be getting some milestones which you can complete to get bonus points. So let me now show you the milestones that we have for the event. So we have four milestones. So to complete the first milestone, you will have to complete two games, two trivia quests and complete nine skill badges. After you have completed the first milestone, you will be getting two arcade bonus points. For the third, for the second milestone, you will have to complete two games, one trivia quest and 15 skill badges. After you have completed the second, uh, second milestone, you will, get, you will be getting four bonus points. So for the third milestone, you will have to complete four games, two trivia quests and 21 skill badges. After that, you will be getting six bonus points. And at the last, we have our ultimate milestone. So for this, you will have to complete four games, two trivia quests and 30 skill badges. After you have done this, you will be getting nine bonus arcade points. So make sure you complete all of the milestones to achieve the maximum bonus points. And if you want to see these milestones by yourself, I will be giving the link in the video description. Regarding the prizes, these are the prizes that you can earn after you have completed all the task and secure most of the points. Then after the then after the event ends, the prize counter will be live. Exact time is not yet declared. We will inform you when it is live and most likely you'll also be getting an email for the same. Over there you can claim the swags against the X number of points that, that you have earned while you have while you are you are playing the games uh, during the event to claim most of the swags make sure you are having the maximum number of points so try to solve as many tasks as you can and complete all the milestones that was mentioned so that you can earn maximum number of points and claim them for the swags so that was all regarding the event i hope i was able to clear all of most of your doubts any doubt is still left please comment down i will try to answer them or you can reach out to our WhatsApp group. You can connect over with me over there and my co-facilitator is also present over there. You can ask us your doubts if you have any doubts. Till then, thank you and best of luck for the event.